Is it time to buy or sell QQQ ETF? In this video, we're delving deep into QQQ. Our initial report was posted on our website on Wednesday, February 28, 2024. Now, we're providing you with a more thorough analysis. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications to stay informed about our latest insights. Stay updated on any critical developments that could impact your investments. Improve your trading decisions by exploring our newly introduced AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Utilize the capabilities of AI to receive free price forecasts and in-depth analyses for any of the 25,000 companies globally today. Please remember, this video is solely for informational purposes and should not be taken as financial advice. Since January 5, 2024, our system has identified QQQ as a buy candidate with a score of 2.18. Now, let's delve into how the stock has performed during this period. The stock has shown an increase of 9.71%. On average, this translates to a daily return of 0.26% since its classification as a buy candidate. The ETF is currently within a strong rising trend and is expected to continue rising in the short term. Over the next three months, there is a projected 12.75% change, offering a potential return ranging from 10.40% to 14.32%. Looking ahead to the next 12 months, a 36.31% change is anticipated, with a potential return between 19.95% and 37.77%. This could result in a price range of $522.09 to $599.67 after a year. Our latest update on QQQ highlights a red day on Wednesday. The QQQ ETF price dropped by minus 0.532% on Wednesday, February 28, 2024, sliding from $437.60 to $435.27. Throughout the trading day, the ETF fluctuated by 0.546%, ranging from a low of $434.30 to a high of $436.67. While the price dipped in 6 out of the last 10 days, it still shows a 1.57% increase over the past 2 weeks. Volume decreased alongside the ETF, signaling a positive trend as volume typically mirrors the ETF movement. On the last day, Trading volume declined by minus 1 million shares, with a total of 32 million shares exchanged for approximately $13.86 billion. Looking back over the past 52 weeks, the ETF reached a high of $440.59 and a low of $285.19. Currently, the price stands 1.21% below the 52-week high at $435.27, marking an all-time high for the ETF. The QQQ ETF shows positive signals from both short and long-term moving averages, indicating a favorable outlook for the stock. In addition, a general buy signal is present as the short-term average is above the long-term average. Support levels are seen at $433.89 and $425.25, with a breakdown below signaling sell opportunities. However, negative signals have also been identified, potentially impacting short-term trends. A recent sell signal, issued on Thursday, February 22, 2024, resulted in a minus 0.639% decrease, suggesting further decline until a new bottom pivot is established. Moreover, a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is currently in effect. Despite this, the reduction in volume alongside price movements lowers overall risk. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 5 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 5 days ago. Short term moving average, buy signal 6 days ago. Long term moving average, sell signal 39 days ago. If we look at the 12 month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 6 days ago. The long term moving average, buy signal 80 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages, by signal 67 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us for more signals. Today, let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss levels for QQQ. 
QQQ currently finds support at $428.55, backed by accumulated volume. This level could present a buying opportunity, as historical data suggests an upward reaction when this support is tested. The ETF typically exhibits controlled movements with high liquidity, translating to relatively low risk for investors. In the recent trading session, QQQ saw a $2.37 price range, equivalent to 0.546%. Over the past week, daily average volatility stood at 0.82%. Before discussing potential trading levels for QQQ, let's first examine some key fundamental data. The price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio, is a critical metric that compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A low P-E ratio may suggest limited future expectations for the company or an undervalued stock, presenting a potential buying opportunity. Now, let's explore potential day trading levels for QQQ. In an upward trend, the initial resistance level for QQQ is at $436.78. If you're not holding any shares, consider waiting for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For current stockholders, this could be a level to contemplate for swing trading. Conversely, QQQ faces its first support level at $428.55. If this support level holds, it might serve as a strategic entry point, with the potential for a rebound. Our recommended stop loss is set at $417.32, representing a decrease of 4.12%. This ETF is characterized by minimal daily fluctuations, translating to lower risk. A sell signal was identified from a pivot top observed four days ago. Considering the current market conditions, is the QQQ ETF a worthwhile investment? Various short-term signals, combined with a positive overall trend, suggest that now might be a good time to consider buying the QQQ ETF, as it shows potential for short-term performance. Our analysis indicates that the current price is undervalued based on recent volatility and movements in the market. Looking ahead to trading on Thursday, February 29th, we anticipate that QQQ will open up at $0.143 and commence trading at $435.41. Trading carries a high risk of financial loss, so it's crucial to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Remember, stockinvest.us should not be your sole basis for trading. By using this information, you are responsible for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Share your thoughts in the comments, do you agree or disagree? What's your target for the ETF? Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates. Wishing you successful trading and a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.